Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from Lauren Makes Plans and I am here to plan out the week of October 31st through November 6th in my Erin Condren A5 Compact Vertical Life Planner. So I am going to be using this kit from Planner Kate, which is um, kit 451. Um, I don't remember the exact name of the kit, but it is one of, uh, I think it's either one of the October or November kits. It's um, one of the fall ones. I love it. It's got the pumpkins and the little riding boots and the little like redone inspired mugs. And if you saw my house, you would know how much I love anything redone. So I have the compact vertical kit, sheet one, sheet two, and the Daily Duo top boxes and checklists for some extra labels like normal. So we'll go ahead and get started. This is a look at um, how this past week has kind of gone. Obviously I didn't keep up super well with my habit tracker this week and some of the stuff got moved around. Um, there's the current week and I can, there's always so many pages in between a new month. And if you know in an Erin Condren planner that the first of the month always falls behind the new month tab, which isn't as big of a deal this week because the first is on a Tuesday, but like if the first was on a Sunday, the whole that whole entire week of um, the first, like Monday through Friday being in the previous month would still be behind the new month tab. So that just means that there's a lot of extra pages to turn at the start of a new month. So getting all of my little washi strips put down. I love the colors in this kit. It felt like a very good um, October to November kind of transition kit with the pumpkins and all the orange, like the, the more muted orange. Ooh, that's very crooked. But then also the, um, like the burgundy and the blues kind of felt very heading into Thanksgiving-y kind of vibes. And I always like to put the washi strips down um, with my planner upside down like this, if you're wondering why it's upside down, because these washi strips are made to like go all the way to the edge here and sometimes it's just easier to kind of see what you're doing and how close you can get to the edge with it upside down. Today is actually that I'm filming on is actually, um, Friday the 28th. So um, normally I do this on Thursdays, but yesterday was pretty busy and I did not have time to sit down and do all this yesterday. This current week has been um, the book fair at, why do I keep putting those down crooked? Um, this current week has been the book fair at my daughter's school and I volunteered to work the book fair three separate days. So it's been pretty busy. I've spent a lot of time at the school and yesterday at the book fair, they let um, grandparents come and shop with the kids. So my mom and dad, they actually live a couple hours away from us, but any opportunity to come see the grandkids. So they actually drove up yesterday and went and shopped 
at the book fair with my daughter and hung out for a while until she got out of school with my other two, with my boys. And so that just meant that I did not have time to do this yesterday. So there's the washi strips. I already love how this is looking. I love these washi strips with like the, it's like a burgundy. It looks really pretty. And the date headers are also that burgundy color. This is gonna look so good. And I'm just using my tweezers to get my dates on my date headers because it's easier with the teeny tiny stickers to use the tweezers. Especially with the very short nails that I tend to keep. And it was time for me to like do my nails again. Yesterday they had gotten like really long and they were really annoying me. And I ended up picking all my polish off and then I clipped them and I clipped them really short and haven't put any, haven't put anything back on there yet. All right, these brush headers, they bother me a lot. I really don't like the brush headers all that much. I like the way that they look, they look okay. They're kind of, they're cute, but to put them down, they're really just annoying because they don't go down straight and it's hard to get them in the same place because they're like curved. Which I was super excited this past week, um, Planner Kate, every year at the end of the year, she reformats her kits for the new January kits and like changes some stuff up, gets feedback from people that use her stickers regularly and changes what, like does some changes to make some things better, change what people didn't love so much, updates what people did love. Um, and it, she just released this past week the new um, updates for the reformatted kits for January. And I was super excited to see that the compact vertical kits, go ahead and wipe that out. The compact vertical kits for January no longer have the brush headers. So that kind of made my day. They're just like typical box date headers that have a straight bottom that make it easier to put down. All right, so there's the, the washi and the date covers. Let's see what we've got going on this week. I'm just gonna check out my weekly calendar. So Tuesday, I don't have it written down here, but I do know that I have Bible study at my church with my ladies group on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I have a doctor's appointment that afternoon, and we have church that night to make sure I have room for everything. It's kind of a little bit mind-blowing to me that I'm already to the point to have this particular doctor's appointment. It means that my baby is bigger than I'm ready for him to be. Um, what's this one? For those of you that don't know, I have a one month old son. He's actually, he will be seven weeks on Sunday. So this is my um, postpartum checkup appointment. And the fact that we are already to this appointment is just making me a little sad because it means that he's already that big. There is not a ton happening this week. We do have, what am I doing? Let's do this orange one here. And 
then we have Sunday school on Sunday morning. And church also just slightly later Sunday morning. And then actually Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, we will have we'll have to be um, in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is about 30 minutes from where we live Sunday night. Um, my husband pastors a Southern Baptist church in North Carolina and our North Carolina state annual convention meeting starts Sunday and actually goes a couple days into this week. But we have to be there for that Sunday. And then, okay, let's see. Monday, I will have to Go to the bank. And go grocery shopping on Monday. Um, Thursday. remember to put my daughter's letter practice ring back in her backpack. Ooh, also Sunday is Sunday is daylight savings. So we'll put this up here on this little flag. So I don't forget that, that it's the time change. Also Thursday, I will do my planner time. And that will also be a I'll have to make sure the house is clean Thursday because we have um, our college and career group from church coming over on Thursday. Do I not have anything on Friday and Saturday? That's unusual. That's extremely unusual that we have weekends that are available that don't have plans. Okay. I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting that I will put down later. So... Let's go ahead and get my Planner Kate sticker binder and fill in some of these spots. So first we have to go to the bank, which technically is just me driving through the ATM. And then I also have to grocery shop. Um, I guess we're going with gray stickers this week because there's not any burgundy or orange on my little sticker sheet. a hard time with putting stickers down straight today. This one is Bible study, so we'll go to the script stickers. We actually are starting, this will be our first week, 
talking about the new Bible study that we're starting, which um, for us to be able to talk about it next week, I've already started it this week. And we're actually doing an Advent Bible study and I'm, I'm really liking it so far. I do know that it is not yet Advent time to be doing an Advent study. But um, our group takes a break over the holidays, so we're trying to wrap up by around Thanksgiving time. So we've started our study a little bit early and to be able to do the Advent study that we're, to be able to study anything about Advent, we're having to um, start it in October. So that way, well, technically, that's November 1st, but we've started it in October. So that way we can finish it by Thanksgiving. So we've just recently started our Advent study and I really am enjoying it so far. What was this? This was planner time. What I'm doing right now, that's what that is. some oh no I already have another one of that I was about to say I'm gonna need some more of the stickers that I use every single week coming up soon but some of them I've already ordered second sheets of and I forgot about good thing they're literally right here in front of me this is the college and career guys coming over for dinner. We love having them over to our house. We, they come over usually every other week and there's like three or four of them that are in their early 20s that um, come over to our house um, every other, usually every other Thursday and we make dinner and we sit and talk and they update us on things going on in their life and how they're liking their, um, jobs and how their college is going and boyfriends and girlfriends and talk for a while and that's super fun and then my husband usually does some sort of Bible study that is like very relatable to them and like their phase of life that they're in. And we have a really good time and we always really enjoy it. Hmm, this I need the doodles for. with this little gray one. Put that right there. Okay. I think for right now that's it for the stickers, which we'll get that out of the way. All right, now <laughs> Thursday and Sunday look very busy. Everything else looks super not busy. But usually stuff fills up a lot um, throughout the week. So this is at 6.30. This is also 6.30. What time was this appointment? Where did it go? 4.20. I'm still adjusting to being in the phase of life 
that I have to schedule all of my appointments around a school schedule. I'm not used, to, I'm used to just telling them, whatever time you have is fine. And then I'm like, oh wait, I have to make sure that I have time to go to, to drive all the way to Chapel Hill to where my appointments are, have the appointment and still have time to get back to pick somebody up out of school or I have to go after I pick her up from school. So I'm still adjusting to that. Sunday school. And church. And this is North Carolina. Baptist State Convention. Okay. And what did I put on my habit tracker this week? to go back to all these pages. Okay. There's the bed. Put the Bible study up here. Go to Judson. My three-year-old, his allergy medicine. Give Elliot, my one month old, his vitamin, and practice Kennedy's letters. All right, this was the time change. All right, so this is it for this week. Um, it looks a little empty to me so far, but I'm sure that there are things that I've forgotten or things that will pop up that will fill in some of these other days. And it's actually really nice to me to have a Friday and Saturday where there's nothing to do because that's very uncommon for us. Um, but that's it for this plan with me. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you click the notification bell so that way you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.